The 2023 BET Awards was just a hot ghetto mess. Checked out a lot of the performances, most of them just trashy, full of Dollar Tree slut buckets trying their best to outsign each other. Just a bunch of thought pockets running around in Magic City uniforms that they picked up from the flea market. I mean, I saw some really tacky stuff going on. I saw one thought pocket doing all this carrying on in front of Bobby Jones, who's an elder by the way, and in the gospel community. I just can't stand how there's no decorum, no respect for older people, and they want us all to adopt this bad, distasteful behavior as culture. Then Boosie showed up with his lawyers, the only person to come with two attorneys, fresh out of jail. He was so happy to be there, he said he was acting brand new, done fell out his chair. I'm like, if somebody don't take Boosie home. Boosie done fell, hey boo. Hey, somebody done rip out the black. <laughs> Rip me out the play. <laughs> you got that video on this phone? Send it to me. Send it to me. You got it? Send it to me. Send it to me. Busta Rhymes, he was great. Congratulations to him. First time seeing Rod Diggle on stage in a while. I like her talking with Lord Jamar and the very funny Godfrey. So yeah, it was cool seeing her off the podcast for a moment and on the stage. T.I. was cool, Master P, Big Daddy Kane. They had a bunch of tributes to celebrate 50 years of hip hop. But there was one situation I have to address and this is pretty serious, or at least I take it seriously because no one else seems to care, especially the crowd usually running around talking about DV every second. It was an altercation between Lil Uzi and his city girl girlfriend JT. 100% out of order. We're going to get into all that, but first, Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Looks like Lil Uzi Vert and his girlfriend JT got into a heated altercation during the 2023 BT Awards. It was really heated on one side because it was only JT turning up on him. She was being disrespectful, cursing at him, attacking him with a phone. Lil Uzi opened the show with his hit song, Just Wanna Rock, opened the show with great energy. There was also a song he performed where he mentioned rapper Ice Spice, saying that he had a girl with a little afro looking like Ice Spice. JT was not performing, she was there as his date, she was supposed to be there supporting her man. Instead, she chose to embarrass this man and get physical with him. The city girl threw her phone at him with a lot of force too, called him a B-A-N word. Then after she hit him with the phone, she cursed at him again, calling him B-word and N-word, telling him to pick up her phone. And it appears after he picked the phone up, she threw it at him again. Some people believe they heard her calling him Goofy or a groupie. That's because Ice Spice was sitting next to him. Apparently JT went to do something. When she came back, the seat supposedly changed or she didn't have a seat. If you didn't know, a lot of these award shows have seat fillers. Their purpose is to always make the audience look good and packed. Maybe it was one of those situations, but Uzi was in charge of seating assignments. So Ice Spice's seat being placed right next to his, that wasn't his fault. And then all they had to do about JT's seat was say, hey, that's her seat. I'm sure whoever was sitting there was probably a seat filler. They would have just moved. That's why although JT's reps came out the next day saying that she was mad over a seat and not Ice Spice, I'm not buying that story. Getting a simple seating issue resolved, that's easy to do and is usually handled very quickly. That's not what this was. She was mad that another female rapper that she could see as a competitor was sitting next to her man. Ice Spice also took a picture with Uzi and posted it on her social media. Now ladies, we don't even have to discuss it. We all know what Ice Spice was doing there. She was getting a kick out of JT's anger and jealousy and decided to kind of rub it in and also place more emphasis on the situation by kind of leaning into it. All the talk and her name being mentioned in connection with all of this. And as a young girl without much class, I can see her doing that. Grown women just don't play like that. And years ago, women who would do stuff like this and play games, they would be X'd out by fans. But this new generation, they are very supportive of 304 culture, side chick culture, and all of that. Although I do believe the argument had a lot to do with Ice Spice, and she's not helping either with her antics, I don't believe that any of this is her fault. I don't even think it's Uzi's fault as he had nothing to do with the seating. And if JT had some class herself and carried herself like a woman instead of a gutter snipe, it wouldn't be her fault either because the situation wouldn't have been escalated to this height. But the key word here for JT is if. She did not handle this the right way. She exposed herself as a jealous, angry woman, a verbal and physical abuser. 
Number one, I think JT overreacted. She did not have to get angry. And then two, ladies, you never argue with a man and curse a man in private or public. You can communicate with a man. You can express issues, discomfort, or dissatisfaction. But you don't do all that yelling. You don't call a man a B-word or N-word or B-A-N-word. All of that is totally disrespectful and a real man won't tolerate that type of disrespect. And then another thing, even if you have a problem or you have issues, you never, I repeat, never start speaking on those issues in public. Go home, have a respectful conversation, watch your tone, watch your words. Women, you know you can have a way with your words and your mouth that can definitely hype up any situation. You could never speak to a real man the way you would talk to some woman. A man is not your girlfriend. And then throwing stuff, I can't stand it. You do not throw stuff at people and you don't hit anybody, man or woman, unless you're being attacked and you're defending yourself from some type of danger. And what's really crazy about the situation is all of a sudden these women and the simps could care less about DV. This woman physically attacked her boyfriend in public in front of all of these people, captured on video and no one cares. You know if this had been Uzi, you know he would have been all over every blog with millions of people calling for him to be canceled and arrested. Women would have been talking about how unacceptable it was and the male simps would have been backing them up too. Oh no, but not with this case. Women are instead laughing at this. Laughing at this little man emasculating her man or justifying her hood rat actions by saying that she was angry because he was talking to another woman as if he was cheating or something. Ice Spice just wasn't a random woman. She's their peer, a fellow artist, and then she's acting like she caught them kissing or something. This whole thing is giving childish grammar school jealous and silly. JT is 30 years old, older than the both of them, Uzi 27, Ice Spice 23. You would think that she would be an adult. No, instead she's running around treating this guy like she's his mama. And that's why it's so hard for modern women to date younger guys anyway. Because they're so out of line, they try to control them. Now Trick Daddy came out defending JT. He has some words to say. Now let me tell you, let me explain something to you. you. If you're not from Miami, if you're not from the state of Florida, leave our Miami and Florida alone if you don't understand them. All y'all be I said to say about JT, oh, she was ratchet too ghetto. That's what you get when you with a Miami. Actually, I thought she represented. I heard some dudes over there, some funny duddies and all that other over there talking about what they gonna do to us, man. Y'all ain't gonna with my home girl, man. That's my home girl, man. That's that's my home girl. That's how Miami bitches act. That's how they behave. That's how we raised them. What y'all expect out of it? She ain't do wrong. We know a lot of the females raised in New York City have that Timberland boot energy, but now we have Trick Daddy confirming what a lot of us already knew, that Miami City girls are raised to be disrespectful and ratchet. I do not agree with Trick Daddy here at all, but one thing I can agree with is if you pick up a Miami City girl, this is what you're gonna get. JT is Liberty City all the way. You're not gonna find some nice feminine woman from the city. Nah, you're gonna get a woman with a slick mouth and a bad attitude. And that's what JT showcased at the BT Awards. Not her talent, her slick mouth. A lot of JT's female supporters always say they wish she would get a real good, respectable man. Um, JT isn't qualified for that. She's got exactly what she's qualified for. And the only thing that's stopping her is her attitude and her mindset. No decent man will put up with this and Pookie would have mopped the floor with her lace front. So yeah, she's got what she's qualified for. This brings me back to one time, back in 2009, the Grammys. A well-known couple got into an altercation that night, Chris Brown and Rihanna. Chris Brown was arrested after he put hands on Rihanna in response to Rihanna putting hands on him. It's been almost 15 years, and that incident is still following Chris Brown. Say this situation with Uzi and JT, what if Uzi had responded to JT the way that Chris Brown responded? Then would the situation turn from funny to serious then? If a woman is being attacked, everyone is on the same page. She can use any force, even decide to pick up something and take his life. But when a man is being attacked, no matter how severe it is, it's comical to the public. And that man is expected to not defend himself. In fact, if he defended himself, then now he's the problem. American feminism, female supremacy is destroying this country. You have a jealous, evil, wicked woman. She can do whatever she wants to do and not only be supported by other women and be supported by other emasculated men in America, but they have the law on their side as well. They want to turn all the men into submissive men. Uzi and this woman, they're still together. She attended another event with him. Hey, JT. What's up, what's up? How you feeling? Uzi and JT, okay? 
For all the faux femininity believers, spewing conditional femininity talking points. What happened to if the man had all this money and he paid all your bills? What happened to you saying if a man did all that, that he would get 100% femininity, 100% cooperation, a 100% submissive woman? Oh yeah, it's a lie like I've always said. Femininity is not a light switch. You can't cut it on and off. And conditional femininity and those talking points that's used by modern women to get over is a tactic. If you want to see this altercation for yourself, the link is below. But if Uzi had done the same exact thing to JT, would the response be different? Special thank you to Jamal. I appreciate you, Jamal, for all of your support, as well as our brother, Dark Power. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.